How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. The night goes on as I'm... Hey Hermie. You got two new inmates. Mr. Boko? Hermie. How did you end up here? Candy Smalls. That's how. I don't know about this Candy Smalls, but it sounds like a serious drug. But in any case, I take it you were still in the self-contained math and science class before you got arrested? Actually, when Miss Daisy took over for you, she changed it to Feminist Science 101. Oh. That reminds me. By any chance, do you recall getting some new students in your class recently? Wait a minute, new students you say? As a matter of fact, we did. Just the same morning before I got falsely accused. Key Boy and Dumpy. I only remember those names because Bill and Ben laughed at them. Ah yes. Bill and Ben. How could I forget those two? Are they doing well? Up to their same old tricks as usual. But tell me, how did you know about the new students? Funny isn't it? Incidentally, I just met one of them. In fact, he's practically the reason for my arrest. I was caught up in Nubilator 9000's plan to get Keep Boy's friend out of PC University. But now that I'm stuck here, I can't be of any use to them, until I can find a way to escape this cell. Hey! What about that big crack in the wall? Maybe we can get Mr. Kool-Aid to help us break it down. Wouldn't it just be easier to push down the bars? Don't be so daft, Hermie. If that poor man over there can't do it, what makes you think we can? Because you're stronger than he is. And besides, that guy's been too high on meth to realize that pulling on the bars won't do anything. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. Well, I'll be damned, it worked. Or not again. Alright, let's do this. Hey, stop right there. I said stop. Oh no you don't. What have I done? I didn't mean for this to happen. No. Now, if we can just find Newbie later before Harold finds us. Do you know where he lives? No, but if we can track down Edward, Henry, or Duck, one of them can probably tell us where to find him. Hey, what the hell? Just our luck. Harold the helicopter saw you us. Hurry, Boko. Maybe we can lose him. Attention, escapees. Pull over now, or prepare to be shot down. This is your last warning. Wait, what did he say? Ignore him. He's bluffing. Oh, am I? Jesus Christ, Harold. You'll kill somebody. I'm not concerned as long as it's you. Keep boy. Key bo o o o boy. Help me keep boy. I'm still trapped in special ed. Oh my god. Will everyone shut the hell up? Can't you see I've got the biggest hangover of my life? Go away, kitty. Shoo. <laughs> Uh-oh. Quick. Cover his funnel. What's all the damn commotion? What's all this black shit? Is that soot? Oh, Henry just sneezed. Sorry, I think I'm allergic to one of your cats. Oh no. Raja, are you okay, baby? Amber. I'm so sore. Noob, this isn't going to work. I cannot have these engines in here posing a health risk to my kitties. And I never agreed to house a wanted man. I'm sorry, but all five of you need to go. Wait, what do you mean by all five of us? Noob, there's no easy way of saying this. Ah, uh, shit. I should have seen this coming. Look, this living arrangement. We can't do this anymore. 
I've been letting you stay with me without my relatives even knowing, but... I just can't afford to keep you here. I'm so sorry. But, where am I supposed to go? Actually, while you all were napping, I called Tracy's friend Saul to bring over an RV for you. RV? How long have you been planning to throw me out? Well, to tell you the truth, that's the whole reason why I started my side gig as a bartender. I was trying to make enough go bucks to pay Saul for a used RV. In fact, he should be here with it right about. Now. Thanks for coming at short notice. Here's the money. So, where is this new RV owner? If you think I'm going out there in that dumb hot ass disguise. Coming from the guy always wearing a hot ass hoodie. You two about ready? Uh, where did you get that fox mask? Fox mask? I thought this was a cat mask. No, I'm pretty sure that's a kitsune mask. Like the fake you icon. Ha ah, bummer. I stole this mask for nothing. Oh come on. Foxes are still pretty cool. Whoa, wait a minute. You stole that mask? Big deal. Dude won't miss it. It's not like it gives me powers or anything. I thought you got a restraining order from that guy. Oh, that was Michael who. How many times do I have to tell you? We. Don't. Talk. About. Mask salesman? Well, him, his number one hater, and above all, the Bachelorette Sodor edition. Among other things. Never mind the mask. I need your help getting a better disguise for Key Boy. Would you lend your power one more time, please? Alright. But I'll need your powers as well, so his disguise can last as long as possible. I'm ready when you are. So, how do I look? You, look. Perfect. Huh? Why do I feel so small? What the fuck do you do to me? Holy fucking shit! You son of a bitch and butcher me! You fucking dizzy bitch! What the fuck is my family gonna think of me now? Ah, fuck! Ah, uh, don't get mad, kitty. Lol. Kitty. Kitty boy. That's your new name. I hate you for this. Your turn, noob. Wait what? Uh, why do I feel like a literal piece of donkey turd? You have now taken on the form of Stephen Colbert. Noob. Why would you do this? If anything, I should be the cat, not this unfunny leftist talking head. I know it seems cruel, but this is the perfect disguise. No one will ever suspect it's you. This makes us even. No. This is more like it. Although it is kinda hard to see. Well, I guess it's time for you to go. Feel free to take all the polar seltzer cans with you. At least those contain no phthalates. Gee Ember, even when you're kicking me out, you're always looking out for me. Noob, you know you can come see me anytime outside of weekends. Thanks for everything, M. I just wish I could be more help in your efforts to save Dumpy. But after using the last of my energy on transforming you guys, on top of nearly losing the engines in the process of teleporting them. Which somehow caused us to land in the enchanted forest in my old neighborhood. That explains the communication disruptions. I need much rest. I wish you all the best. Here's the key to your new RV. Well, at least the RV for rent. Thanks Saul, you guys are coming too, right? Beg pardon, but does anyone else feel like there's something missing? Hum, now that you mention it, it doesn't quite feel like we're missing something, but rather, someone. You mean like the engine who got arrested for us? Boko. I completely forgot. Will one of you go and bail him out? Even if you have to do a jailbreak. I will go. He is my good friend after all. Wise decision Edward. Take a left down the avenue till you reach the police station. Report back here to ask Amber for my new location. The rest of you, come with me. Good luck you all.
It's starting to get dark. I sure hope I can free Boko. Kermie the Elf? That was your name, right? Oof. Oh no. Stay with me now. R, are you a friend of Boko? Yes, I am. Tell me what happened. Where? Who's there? What's that? Oh my god. Boko. Are you okay? Harold shot us down and left me for dead. What? Not Harold the helicopter. Don't worry. I'll get Nubulator to help. I just need to find him first. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? Whoa, wait. Sorry for disturbing you this late, but we need your help. Editing noob here again. And you know what that means. Yes. There's going to be a part 5 now.